For years, literature works have been turned into operas, movies, plays, and ballets. Ballet Austin is taking this idea in a new direction, focusing on the story of the troubled Edgar Allan Poe. So we, what we've tried to do is incorporate his, his, some of his stories into his life story. So it's that sort of melding of the two things that I hope people will come away knowing more about Poe as a writer. This world premiere original performance, Poe, A Tale of Madness, will include 19th century Gothic elements with a contemporary twist. To me, adaptations are always like an homage. They're always a compliment. They're saying this work is so fascinating that I want to reimagine it in certain sorts of ways. The Harry Ransom Center held a Q&A with Mills and Ballet Austin's executive director, Cookie Ruiz. Audience members were able to get a look at the modern yet hauntingly beautiful costumes. The Poe Project was commissioned by the new Butler Choreography Endowment. That name sounds familiar. The Butler School of Music here at UT was named after Sarah and Ernest Butler, who are known philanthropists that love the arts. While many may be familiar with Ballet Austin's classic shows like The Nutcracker and Sleeping Beauty, Poe, A Tale of Madness is something never seen before. When you think of ballet, you think of like, oh, like fairies and like swans, like that kind of thing. You don't think of these like darker stories happening. In Austin, Paulina Pearson, Reporting Texas TV.